flower power it is early july and the fields the forests, the gardens are all bursting with all kinds of flowers they have been for a couple weeks now and i want to show you some of the things that i've been doing with some of the flowers in my area so here i've got uh, some yarrow flowers been picking the tops i'm going to dry those uh, they make a fantastic tea you can do salves you can do all kinds of things with them yarrow amazing amazing flower uh, that one will continue to flower for a few more weeks to come and uh, some other kind of seasonal ones that I'm really getting on top of right now is in the still I'm making a uh, lilac hydrosol so I'm doing a couple of things with lilacs we're just near right near the end of their season and I had a customer the lovely Lisa uh, she was doing some kind of yard uh, restructuring shall we call it you know they needed to clear some room they had this beautiful lilac bush and she thought of me and she's like wow who can use these lilacs how can they go to a good place and get used so she brought me a big box of lilacs and I spent about an hour this morning going through them you know destemming them and uh, basically just getting you know all the leaves all the stems everything out and I just wanted the flower portion so I'm doing a steam distillation where the uh, lilac flowers are in the column and it has just started dripping right there you can see it dropping out and mmm yeah that beautiful floral scent first time making a lilac hydrosol total experiment we'll see how it goes another thing I'm doing with the lilacs uh, which I love doing with all kinds of flowers and other plants is a lilac honey so packed a jar full of lilac flowers uh, honey on top and then I'm letting that sit for for at least a week or so done this before great results a uh, new one for me is a lilac sugar so a little bit bigger of a jar packed with lilac flowers and then uh, put in in this case I used a uh, refined cane sugar so it's not pure pure white um, but it is it's definitely not a brown because I want those nice light delicate delicate floral notes of the lilac to come through uh, and this type of method is going to create a syrup there are other methods where you can essentially you know dry out and crystallize the lilac flowers uh, with sugar but I'm gonna go for more of a syrup another thing I've been doing is rose petals so here's here's one that it's already in the works uh, rose petal honey absolutely amazing my first time making it I've tasted one like this before uh, this is a few days in the process and uh, anytime I can I've just been going out and harvesting more rose petals uh, just as I'm on walks I'm on bike rides I'll uh, kind of go grab a few petals and I keep kind of packing them in to the honey here uh, another one that I'm doing with the wild rose petals is a tincture Look at that, <laughs> really kind of almost like bleaches. Uh, so I, I use a quite a low percentage of alcohol uh, and I've just been packing this jar full of rose petals. Again, we're just trying to saturate it with petals to really get a nice uh, floral tincture. And maybe what I might even do is, is combine those two uh, to do like a wild rose uh, syrup that is nice and well preserved, but we'll see. I mean, now is the time. All these blossoms are really and truly blooming. It's such a short window. How can we capture their essence and uh, kind of extend it, you know, through the season, even into the winter, I know it's going to be a real treat, a real treasure. Anytime I open up these jars and I'll be brought right back to summer and this kind of peak of the season and these what these flowers are offering. Other flowers I'm working with, I recently did a video on the uh, purple vinegar uh, using chive blossoms. That is coming along nicely. I'm probably actually going to strain that in the next day or two. That is done. And then I've got a couple others in the garden. Uh, this is maybe a new one for some of you folks. Uh, yeah love this bush i've got a massive one in my yard here look at that full bloom every year just goes crazy with flowers and this one here mm, is delicious and it's actually called lewis's mock orange because these flowers smell almost exactly like neroli which is orange blossom orange blossom is a little bit bolder a little bit kind of uh yeah full-bodied but uh, these wow you get your nose right in there absolutely incredible uh i am you know even though i've had this uh, 
bush in my uh, backyard for a number of years, ever since I moved in. Obviously, it's it's very well established. It's huge. It definitely needs a little bit of a trim, uh, but this is it in all of its glory. Just this time of year for a few days, uh, it's intoxicating. The smell, the aroma. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to try and make a mock orange uh, hydrosol, like orange blossom or neroli hydrosol is, is wonderful. Uh, get a little bit of that essential oil on top, uh, dissolved into that floral water. That should be very nice. And then maybe I'll try, you know, honey or a, or a sugar or a syrup or something as well um, with it too. And this is just kind of experimenting. Once you learn these techniques, uh, you can apply them to whatever it is that you want. And I just had Yarrow Willard uh, from Harmonic Arts stand here. Very, very short time. We did a, a Harmonic Arts training at the shop last night. And so we were just hanging out uh, in the garden. And uh, one of his uh, kind of staff members, who's a rep for the area, we're kind of giving her a tour of the yard and we're showing the, the mock orange, which she's never uh, seen before. She says, well, what are, what are the, the health benefits? You know, what are the medicinal properties? And I couldn't really speak to it because uh, I haven't done the research. I, I don't know. I've, I've seen it referenced in a lot of the wild food books. Uh, obviously, I'm very familiar with the plant, but in terms of herbal properties, I'm not sure. So we asked Yarrow and he says, oh yeah, herbal properties, it's benefit? That, ah, <laughs> it's so good. So what are you doing with flowers apart from just enjoying them? I mean, that is... Uh, what they are here for, uh, at least when it comes to us, is to take them in, it transports us. Uh, it's such a deep uh, experience. So any flowers that you're enjoying this season, anything, any ones that you're working with or looking forward to coming out and working with this year, and how will you be processing them if you are going to be? Let me know.